फोर डैश थ्री जीरो फोर कंट्रोल मैसेज होगा फोर डैश थ्री जीरो फोर कंट्रोल अभी का लेटेस्ट डेट क्या है मैसेज पास करिए होगा In nearly 50 conflict zones around the world, more than one and a half billion people live under the threat of violence. In many of these places, the primary enforcers of order are not police officers or government soldiers, but the blue-helmeted troops of the United Nations. India has been at the forefront of peacekeeping right from 1950 when it supplied medical personnel and troops to the UN Repatriation Commission in Korea. Since then, India has participated in 71 missions and contributed more than 240,000 troops, the largest number from any country. Over 168 Indian peacekeepers have paid the ultimate price while serving with the United Nations. The highest number from any troop contributing country. India has, if I'm correct, 6,400 peacekeepers today in service. India has been an example of commitment to the United Nations Charter, to the values uh, of the UN, and uh, with the sacrifice of uh, their women and men uh, to uh, peacekeeping. Currently, India has deployed in eight out of 13 peacekeeping missions that include Democratic Republic of Congo, South Sudan, Golan Heights, Israel and Syria, Middle East, Abyei, Western Sahara, Cyprus. And Lebanon. The UN Interim Force in Lebanon, or UNIFIL, was established in 1978 in response to a surge in violence on the border between Israel and Lebanon. India joined UNIFIL as a troop contributing country 20 years later in 1998. the area with in which the inbat is deployed is uh, strategically important it is sensitive and it is challenging strategically important because we are at the tri junction of three countries israel lebanon and syria sensitive because the blue line between the two countries israel and lebanon is nor it is demarcated on the ground and challenging because you must have seen the kind of terrain that we operate in it is rugged and the climatic conditions are harsh the indian battalion in lebanon is popular with the locals because of its outreach activities we have no health facilities in this area so once a week there is a big queue here to see the doctors the indians go out of their way by imparting skills sharing knowledge protecting the community they are interested in our future and that is why they have our trust in 2007 india became the first country to deploy a first ever all female force that helped to bring peace in liberia in the wake of that country's brutal civil war the contribution you have made to inspiring liberian women to impart in them the spirit of professionalism to encourage them to join those entities those operations that protect the nation for that we will always be grateful tango one for control control over control pass the message over 15 se 20 civilian hathiyar ke sath tanks kaatne ki koshish kar rahe hain over aap unko wahan roke rakhiye aur fence ko beech mein thode dijiye main aapke paas cubic 4 bhej raha hu दस मिनट के अंदर होगा
हियर इन उन्नीस इंडियंस आर डिप्लॉयड इन वेरी डिफिकल्ट एरियाज दे वेरी चैलेंजिंग बैकवर्ड एरियाज कॉन्फ्लिक्ट प्रोन वेर वुमेन आर सब्जेक्टेड टू ऑपरेशन सेक्शुअल वायलेंस There is danger, yes. They operate basically in the greater Upper Nile area of South Sudan. Walk career. With 2,400 peacekeepers that include two infantry battalions, an engineering company, a petroleum platoon, a level two hospital, and a signal detachment. Indians are in the toughest zones. In early 2019, Indians were entrusted to establish a temporary base in Kodok, the only UN presence along the western bank of the Nile. And we uh, decided to to put on ground in Kodok. The in but there was also an additional security and the population kept on increasing approximately 3 to 4 snakes are being encountered every day the peacekeeping of the past were, were based in let's say ceasefire buffer zones where the peacekeepers were extremely respected this is not happening this mission this mission the peacekeeper that is deployed here he must be prepared to fight because of the uh, legacy of rwandan genocide because of the abundance of these mineral resources which is there in my area i have got these armed groups which are roughly about 33 to 34% which are active in my area of responsibility i have the maximum number of human right violations in my area With more than 2600 troops on the ground, India is one of the biggest contingents in the biggest and most challenging peacekeeping mission under the UN flag. My name is Captain Tanvi and uh, we are going to be here for at least 13 14 months. We'll be coming regularly. The women generally come to us with problems like they do not have potable drinking water and when they have to go to far off water points they face sexual harassment at uh, and sexual violence at hands of armed groups and uh, their expectation is that we increase our patrols we increase our presence because they feel really protected and empowered and part as well indian troops by nature are a people's army and what a people's army and those uh, who are involved in that a uh, do are uh, is that they know how to reach out to people kaise gaadi ko rokna hai kaise driving sikhna hai kya kya iske andar cheeze hoti hai uske bare mein aapko jankari dunga it enables better safety and security of the people bola hai se okay to fir mera mujhe bola hai so that's one critical skill of engaging with people that many other troops may not have